So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Chapter 6 trailer for Battlefield 5 is here, and it takes a slightly different tone this time around. The trailer felt more like a community update video from the Star Wars Battlefront team, as opposed to one of those big cinematic trailers from the Battlefield team. This time, we had Adam Freeman, community manager, explaining lots of different things that we needed to know about Chapter 6 after a short cinematic at the beginning. But of course, you're here for all of the information, so I'm now going to bring that all into one convenient place for you. Information from the trailer, the blog post, and the updated Chapter 6 page on the Battlefield website. So, let's get started. Now, first of all, the biggest thing, a release date for Chapter 6 Into the Jungle. The chapter is going to start on February 6th, which is next week, and it's launching with the brand new map Solomon Islands. This map is a little bit smaller than the previous three Pacific ones from Chapter 5. It's a bit narrower, it's a bit more intense, and it's mainly focused around infantry gameplay. The map is made by the same team that made the Operation Locker map in Battlefield 4 and the Argonne Forest map in Battlefield 1, both of which were considered fairly grindy. Now, from the gameplay that we see in the trailer, things do look rather fast and frantic. Most of the action is happening on land and around the rivers, focusing on infantry gameplay and light vehicle gameplay, but there are heavy armoured ground vehicles that are going to play a part as well, and you can see a few of those in the trailer. The map is going to support Breakthrough, Conquest, Team Deathmatch and Squad Conquest and during the Breakthrough game mode the Americans they will be attacking, they're invading the land, they're landing on the beaches in the Higgins boats and then they push into the jungle and then onto a final objective at the end. This screenshot here that shows how the map is going to look in Conquest and it pretty much shows you the entire playable area. It is a five flag layout and it's got that pinch point in the middle with just one flag, the C flag. That's pretty much going to be the hottest area of the map and that's where some of the houses are located. The Americans, they get the beach side of the map and the Japanese, they start in the jungle encampments and overall, the Japanese do have a slightly smaller area of the map but of course the Americans will be invading onto those beaches. So that's the map pretty much covered. That's the only one we know about so far for Chapter 6. It remains to be seen if any more maps will make their way into the chapter. This might just be like the first announcement of the chapter. We don't really know at the moment. But we're going to move on now to weapons. Announced so far, we have three new weapons and two new gadgets. The M2 Carbine, that's coming to the Assault class. This is an agile, fast-firing, fully automatic rifle. And it's highlighted fairly well by Drunksy in the trailer. Who doesn't recognise those twitchy moves on the guy? This was actually one of the 5v5 competitive mode weapons that has taken a considerable amount of time to be transferred over to the main multiplayer. Then there's the Type 11 light machine gun. This is a Japanese weapon and it's got a detachable hopper magazine and that's coming to the support class. And then the Model 37 Ithaca shotgun, that's coming to support as well. That's going to give you a close range option that I'm sure is going to come in very handy in the dense jungle. And then for gadgets, as was previously stated by DICE, we do have the Lunge Mine coming in Chapter 6. This was a Chapter 5 unlock, but it was bugged, so it had to be delayed. And finally, about eight or nine weeks after it was supposed to arrive, it will arrive with Chapter 6. And you will unlock it fairly soon after you start playing. And then the second gadget we have is the M1A1 Bazooka. That's going to become an Assault Class gadget and it will add into the list of rocket launchers along with the Panzerfaust and the Piat launcher. Now something that is worth pointing out to you, all of these weapons and gadgets, they're going to be included in the chapter reward system this time around, as opposed to being unlocks via the Tides of War system. Now this caused some debate last week when players realised that the tiers within the chapter rewards, they can be bought with real world money, potentially injecting some pay to win elements into Battlefield 5. We've now been given a breakdown of the chapter rewards by DICE, so we know all of the chapter rewards that are going to be included, and we know where the weapons are going to fit into those ranks. And personally, I'm not quite sure what to think now, because some of them are in the earlier tiers and you will unlock them fairly quickly, but the last one is in rank 25, so it's over halfway 
into the ranking system. So I guess it's going to depend how fast people start unlocking these things on day one. That's going to tell us if paying to unlock these things gives people an advantage. If you can get through like the first 10 ranks in the first day and it only takes a couple of days to get to rank 25, then I don't think we really have an issue here. But if it's starting to take multiple days, pushing into the first couple of weeks, then I think there might be an element that people start to get frustrated with that. But the places though, just so you know, rank 5, that unlocks you the lunge mine. As I said, you're going to get that very, very quickly. Rank 10, that gives you the Type 11 light machine gun. Rank 15 is the Model 37 shotgun. Rank 20 is the M1A1 bazooka. And then rank 25 is the M2 carbine. Now the chapter ranks, they're going to stay active for the whole chapter. And it is a 12 week chapter. You can see that from this section here in the trailer. So players can pretty much unlock these at their own pace. And you won't be limited to a seven day time limit anymore as has been the case with Tides of War in previous chapters. So there's two sides to this. There could be an element of pay to win, but if you don't want to pay to unlock these things, there is a lot more flexibility than last time round. As for the rest of the chapter rewards, DICE is going to populate those with a mix of company coin, weapon skins, vehicle skins, and soldier cosmetic customizations. Now, the really interesting thing is that at rank 40, which is the max rank for this chapter, you're going to unlock an elite soldier named Misaki Yamashiro. And this is the first time that DICE will be making an elite soldier free for all players who can grind their way to unlocking it. Previously, all elite soldiers have been contained in the armory and you've had to pay with them with boins. This time, you won't have to do that for at least one of the elites. Now, Misaki's signature weapon is the commando machete as she is a commando soldier. But it is going to likely be a couple of weeks before you start seeing this elite soldier running around the battlefield because it is locked into the final rank of the chapter. But I do have to say it is nice to see DICE listening to feedback here and unlocking one of the elites away from a Boyne's only purchase. There are two more elite soldiers coming in the chapter as well. One for the Americans called Steve Fisher and the other one for the Japanese Akira Sakamoto. Both of these are pilot themed elites. Steve Fisher, although you can apply him to any of the standard infantry classes, his unique melee weapon is the knuckle duster. And Akira, as I said, another pilot themed elite, he runs with a repurposed control stick as a melee weapon. Apparently, he's ripped it out of the cockpit of a crashed fighter plane. Right now, it's unclear if these two elites will be paid options or if they will be unlockable via other means. DICE didn't clarify in the trailer or on the website. So when it comes to Tides of War this chapter, what's really going to be happening? Things are going to be a bit different this time around. Instead of unlocking weapons and gadgets mixed in with cosmetics every week, most of the items will tie directly into your chapter rank and will mainly focus around cosmetic items. You're going to be unlocking chapter rank tier skips, and that's going to push you up to the next rank. You'll unlock cosmetic customization for your soldiers, weapons and vehicles, and also bundles of chapter XP to push you up even further in those chapter ranks so that you can unlock things even quicker. DICE did say they were going all in on the chapter rank in chapter 6. That does seem to be the case. Now, if you look a little bit deeper into the trailer, there might be a couple of things that, that you might have missed. In the first cinematic section, it actually follows on from the very end of the Wake Island trailer. It's just this time you're seeing it from the American perspective and you're waiting for the Japanese soldiers to jump out of the bushes. When they do jump out of the bushes, they appear to be dressed in more bushes. So it looks like we're all going to become Bad Company 2 recon soldiers in this chapter. I can't see any mention of those outfits in the chapter rank rewards. So maybe these will be unlockable via the armory or something. But if they're going to make you blend into the foliage even more, Battlefield 5's visibility problem is just going to be utterly insane on the Solomon Islands map. Then I also spotted this parrot that flies up into one of the shots. I'm not really sure what that means, although I think the last time parrots were important was back in Battlefield 4 on the Paracel Storm map when people wanted to activate the Megalodon Easter egg. So, I don't know, we're in a jungle, maybe there's a T-Rex or something. 
That could be pretty awesome. And then I spotted this right at the end. It's a little bit of an ironic meme. There was this shot of an American tank all covered in lovely tank body customization with the words coming soon emblazoned on the side. Nothing officially confirmed on the website, in the blog or in the trailer, but might we be finally, finally seeing this become active in Chapter 6, vehicle body customization. I really, really hope so. It would be a great addition to the game and players have been wanting it for a very long time. And there you go, that just about covers everything from the Chapter 6 trailer. Right now we know about one new map for multiplayer, three new weapons, two new gadgets, three new elite soldiers, and a bunch of cosmetic unlocks for the Americans and the Japanese. Hopefully as time goes on we get to learn a little bit more info, possibly details, about more maps if there are any in Chapter 6, and when that information comes out I will be sure to update you. But thanks very much for watching this video, if you could leave me a rating and a comment that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.